two days. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want us to talk about some of the changes that I see coming after this whole Robin Hood controversy. So I'm not going to cover a particular stock. There are some changes that are going to impact you and me as retail investors. So that's what I want us to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So we have seen this whole Robin Hood thing with GameStop and AMC and all the other stocks that were involved. I, again, right now, it's actually giving birth to some other movements that I think it's going to benefit us in, in the long run. And uh, the most important one is the idea that right now, as retail traders, if you have a cash account, we have what they call T plus two. So whenever you place a trade and you buy a security, um, when you sell that security, it takes two business days for that money to settle back into your account before you can use it again for trading without getting any good faith uh, valuation. So right now they're talking about bringing that from T plus two to T plus one, which is good, which means that if you buy today uh, and sell, the money would settle in your account tomorrow. But right now, if you buy today and sell, the money settles in your account in two business days, which is kind of crazy. And the question is, why does that money have to take two business days to settle? Where does the money go? I mean, we're talking about technology that we have today, blockchain technology and all the good stuff that we have from a technology standpoint. And yet it takes two business days to settle, um, you know, to settle your, your trade. It's like you can mail a letter to across the country and it will take two days to get there. And yet when you sell uh, electronically and, and, and place a trade and complete that trade, it still takes two business days for your money to get into your account. So the fact that they're talking about this right now because of the whole GameStop thing, that's good. I think that's one of the good things that's going to come out of this whole uh, challenge that we had. So as you can see here on uh, CNBC, Wall Street clearing firm proposes one day trade settlement after Robin Hood controversy, which is good. Again, like I said, this is, um, I think is due for uh, a change. What I care is about, what I care here is the retail investors, because I think retail investors have been getting smacked in the face all the time by Wall Street. And now that we have an opportunity to really get in there and, and at least you know, take some of this control back. And because we're the ones that are leading the market, we have institutional uh, traders. If we let them trade among themselves, they're not going to make any money. The only reason why institutional traders are making money is because you have retail investors that come in and out. Some don't even know what they're doing in the market yet. They come and put money in there and give this money to these institutional guys. So if we can have that control back, I think it's beneficial. So let me jump over here to um, invest to PDR so we can actually see some of the reasons why. So I'm going to just uh, jump straight here. So uh, why delay actual settlements? Again, the explanation I'm getting here is that back in the, in the days when you place a, a, a trade, they actually had to set the uh, actual certificate to the person that bought that particular um, security before they can get paid. But now we have electronic trades that we don't need to do manual certificate anymore because you don't see people getting an actual certificate of ownership because in the past they would send you an actual certificate of ownership of a stock. So now that we have electronic uh, transactions and I don't understand why we're not using the blockchain technology to validate all these transactions in real time so that you can sell and you can buy and sell and get your money in your account real time and reuse it as much as you want. So I think this is a great step in the right direction. Guys, just so you know, I'm not cutting uh, uh, Robin Hood any slacks here because I think what Robin Hood did by halting trade or by halting buying of the securities or any of these firms that did it, they actually colluded with Wall Street. I know that Robin Hood came out and said they did it to protect uh, their customers, aka you and me. Uh, they did it to protect the firm, aka them. I'm like, you guys did it to protect you and your customers who are Wall Street banks, not us. Because if you really care about the retail investor, when you put a, a buy restriction on a security, basically allowing people to sell it, when you sell the price of that security drops, if you really cared about the retail investors, 
these guys would have halted trade, which means they would have stopped it. It doesn't matter. No selling, no buying. Halt at that particular price until you guys figure out what you want to do from a liquidity standpoint. So it's kind of crazy for me to see them come out and see the reason why they halted. Uh, people allowing people to buy was because they didn't have enough money, but yet they allow people to sell, which means it pushes the price of the stock down. So. I don't care what they say. I think they did that on purpose and now they're trying to go out and clean their reputation. Next one here is when do you actually own the stock or get the money? So again, when you read through this, when you buy a security, say today, let's say it was Monday, you buy that security on Monday, um, you don't own that security until Wednesday when that trade settle, based on what I'm reading here. Right now, most people do what they call T plus two. So you buy, sell, you, you wait two business days for your money to get in your account. They're trying to bring that down to T plus one, as you can see here, which is if you buy today, you sell today, it takes one business day for that money to settle and you can get it into your account. So if you buy today and sell today, you cannot use the money today, but you can use it tomorrow because that's a, a whole business day. You can get that money back in your account. So I think it's a great um, opportunity here for us to start chipping into some of the regulations that Wall Street has for retail investors because I don't understand why you wouldn't get your money. Again, I'm looking at the technology that we have today. Why are we not implementing those technologies to help people uh, get their trades, get settled instantly so that they can use that money to do other things because i've seen people sell their position they have they think they have the money but they can't use it because if you use it again and buy and sell you run into uh, a, a good faith violation and then your account gets flacked or maybe you can't even get closed so i don't like that idea so if they can go from t plus one the next step would be t plus zero if I buy today with a cash account and sell, I want my money in my account. I want that money now and I want to use it. And I should be able to withdraw that money out of my account without you holding my money for two days uh, and using it to do your own transactions and making profit out of it. So that's just my personal take. I wanted to bring this to you guys so you guys are aware of uh, what's going on. So I think this is a, a step in the right direction. So we'll see where this goes. So let me know again in the comment section what you guys think about this. Where do you stand with this whole thing? Do you, uh, do you, are you happy with the T plus two? Are you excited about T plus one or are you looking even for more? You want T plus zero? Let me know again in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also Weibo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit hundred dollars you get some free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a green savage stay motivated